everybody. Melissa from Buckeye Girls Raising Things. I'm going to be making a couple things. I don't know. I'm trying to finish some things up. Just trying to finish some things up. And I thought I'd show you how to make a couple things. I started it and you know I went dang why didn't I do this on a live so I came out and decided to do this on a live hey Eva okay I started out with let me measure it this is a 13 inch piece of ribbon dovetailed at each end and then I just made a loop and a loop like that and then I had a black piece of sheer that I did the same thing to and I'm gonna lay them like this on top of each other and then I got this alligator clip for the little girl's hair I'm gonna put right in the center then I'm gonna do the worst part I gotta thread a needle hey hey uh, Sarah Merry Christmas well I'll be by myself for Christmas that's gonna be still out on the road so be just me I'm going to take, grab, hey Sheila, hey Barb, rah, how's, uh, how's my favorite Oklahoma girl doing? And if you're like me and can't see anything, make sure you get the needle big enough so you can maybe see the, see the, needle then you tie a knot in the end we can't use wire on this because we don't want wire on a little girl's head that ain't that ain't nice it don't feel so good because this is going to be a hair bow So I'm going to take this and make sure both of them are even. And then I'm going to just sew across. And the biggest thing is that if you go, you want to, you want the end, end and the beginning to be the same. And then you wrap it around, pull it tight, and then do one more stitch. To stitch it off you can make these loops as big or as little as you want depending on the age of the child or how big you want the loops to be oh Barb I was just talking about you tell, t telling everybody how wonderful you are you know me then I just pull the loops out and I have three of these and then I have one more thing I need it needs some blank because Barb says it's got to have blank. Hey, Carol. Just tying a knot in the end, making sure the knot's not too small that it won't go through.
Then I got this button. Uh, it's a little heart-shaped button. Which these are the colors of our school here in, uh, in my area. And I thought this would be cute to make uh, some hair bows in school, the school colors. I'll do it this way. Oh, yeah. Gonna get a bigger piece of thread. My knot wasn't big enough, it went all the way through. Oh, thank you, Karen. Karen, hope you're having a Merry Christmas, too. I make, I'm still making stuff. Um, Dad won't be home till Thursday. So, uh, I'll probably be by myself crafting through the holidays. And then Friday, I have a neighbor and friend coming over. And we're gonna, we're gonna... I'm going to cook a Christmas dinner then. Oh, uh, no, I'm never ready. I didn't even get my cookies finished. I got sick and didn't get them all finished. But, you know, sometimes that happens. Okay, now let's try this again. And I want to make sure this is sewed on good because it's going to be for a little girl and you want to make sure it's sewed on good. I'm going to turn around and glue it too because we don't want it going anywhere. just cut that off and I was smart this time I got out my glue gun if it it's supposed to be low temp I think it's so low temp it didn't it didn't heat I guess that's low temp for you Oh, that sounds fun. Hey, Nala. Oh, don't even say that to ba about Bandit. Bandit don't like none of these hair bows at all. He knows how to take those out of his hair in about two seconds flat. Then I'll just glue that the, the eight, that on the gator clip, and then I'll turn around and add some more hot glue in the back of that button to make sure that button ain't going anywhere. And then it'll look like that. 
<laughs> Man. Oh, come on. Heat up. I put low temperature glue across the clip and I'm adding it to the bow to it. Boy, that didn't hold. glue but it didn't hone hey Rhonda and then I'm gonna add some glue behind this too because I don't want it going anywhere Then I'm going to sew the next one on. I like to sew the buttons on and glue them so there's less chance of them going somewhere. Oh, thank you, Karen. You have a wonderful Christmas and don't work too hard. This is a nice, simple little, little gift to add for a stocking stuffer for for the little for the little girls, or or also a nice to add if you make if you're you're somebody that makes the vinyl T-shirts. This is a nice thing that you could you could make a set of these to match the T-shirt you're you're making and sell them in combination with each other. Nothing like but making a little girl's t shirt and then having a combination bow to go right along with the shirt. Just makes a great accent. Yeah, that would be hard. I would say every day. I, Barb, if I was you, I'd do every day. Va a couple Valentine's Day. Maybe a St. Patrick's. And if you have any Easter. Especially if you have any that you didn't sell the year before. You could pull those out and spruce them up.
This is also a great idea that you could do if you have extra ribbon. Because this is one and a half inch ribbon. Both of these are one and a half inch ribbon. You could do, do it in your local school colors. And it, it's, it would be an easy thing to do, do for a craft fair. You could do it in the school colors. You could do you could do it in uh, unicorns because you, if you have unicorn ribbon, because unicorns is all the thing right now. All the little girls like the unicorns. Seems like unicorns and mermaids is the big thing right now. Oh, I know that. That uh, inner ear infection took it out of me. Okay, this is my last one. Oh, wow. I had four gator clips and three bows. It's like, what? Hey, Barb. How's, how are you feeling? I know you were sick this about the same time I was. So is everybody working on baking and cooking and all that stuff right now? I know Barb from uh, Cincinnati, she, the other night she was making pineapple upside down sugar cookies. They looked really good. I'm going to just sew this button on. Hey Dawn, hey Mary Lou. How what are you guys up to today? I'm just making a hair bow. Here's the finished one. And they're in our school local school colors. Getting the last minute Christmas things finished.
just I found my low temperature glue gun so you don't have to see me burn myself to death when I make these little things add that to the center and hold it And then I will glue You're relaxing. That, that's nice. I've been making bows most of the day. It was one of the, it's been one of those days that I just feel like making bows. I don't know why. But I made up a bunch of bows for upcoming projects. Here is our hair bow that I made. Here's the finished product. For the little girl's hair. And you could change up the colors, of course, and add another button. The button could be a flower. It could be, I don't know, they probably have unicorns, all kinds of different things you could put in the center. If you didn't want the bling. But that's what it turned out to be. Oh, thank you. Um, thank you for watching uh, and joining me. Um, talk to you later. Bye.